So I'll be explaining the shape of an X-curved uh, population growth, S-shaped population growth curve. Um, so growth of population is measured as an increase in its size over a period of time and may show certain patterns of growth uh, over time. There are two patterns of population growth forms, uh, J-shaped and S-shaped growth forms. Um, but today I'll be focused on the S-shaped curve. Um, before explaining the curve itself, I'll first clarify some vocabulary terms. Um, the following equation is how population sizes are calculated. Um, natality plus immigration minus mortality plus emigration equals size. Natality refers to increase in population size through births. Oppositely, mortality refers to decreases in population due to deaths. Immigration refers to increases in population size through the addition of external species, while emigration refers to decreases in population size due to loss of species to external populations. Um, so S-shaped curve shows how a population becomes limited by environmental factors, also known as a sigmoid curve. This graphical representation shows the initial uh, gradual increase in population size, followed by an exponential increase, and finally a phase of decline to arrive at a nearly constant level. Hence, the curve can be broken down into three, um, larger than three phases, exponential growth phase, transitional phase, and plateau phase. So growth in the beginning may be slow, as there might not be enough reproducing individuals. However, as number of individuals increase and reproduction gets underway, growth enters the um, exponential phase. Um, in this phase, there is rapid growth as natality rate is higher than mortality rate. There is still abundant resources and minimal environmental resistance. Then as population continues to grow, uh, uh, growth enters the transitional phase. Um, due to the fast rising number of individuals, competition increases uh, too due to the decreasing availability of resources. Natality starts to decrease while mortality starts to rise, leading to a slower rate of population growth. Um, then finally comes the plateau stage. Um, this is when mortality rate will equal the natality rate. This is when population size becomes constant, reaching the carrying capacity of the environment. Limited resources, disease, and competition each have roles in keeping the population size balanced at this level. Though the population size won't be static at this point, um, it will continue to fluctuate around this capacity without any net growth. Um, so every population has a set range of environmental conditions it can endure. Conditions must stay within these ranges in order for population growth to occur. Factors that affect population can be categorized into two, density independent and density dependent. Density independent factors include uh, weather conditions, wait, yeah. Yeah, weather conditions, availability of sunlight, oxygen and carbon dioxide, and natural disasters. And density dependent factors include availability of shelter, food and water, predation and parasitism, competition, accumulation of wastes and diseases. So I use these websites. <laughs> 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 <laughs>